is your wool carpet or rug shedding and you don't know why? I'm going, I don't know why either, so I'm, I've, I've invited an expert <laughs> because I haven't got a clue. But we're going to try and help you. So, hi, Pierre. Hello. Are we going to help them? We are going to. Of course you're <laughs> going to help them. You are the man. Okay, okay. Apparently I am. So, we, this does happen. Why Why do we find that rugs... I, I would like to just go into quickly exploring shedding a little bit more and Absolutely. help people that might not be not familiar with the term they, what, what they have mean? this problem and they might, might call it something different yeah. um so let's quickly go to a few things that happened to me in the past that showcase this um people especially because more so more recently in the last five or so years we've got out of flooring that install carpets yes. so we've had people that have carpets installed and then report well actually my packing bag fills up really quickly um, or there's a lot of fluff everywhere on the carpet, even after you install it, yeah. and now it's two weeks and it's still there. Or it still keeps coming it back. It still keeps coming back. Uh, specific situation was, before we actually had auto flooring, before we opened auto flooring, I had a lovely lady in, in, in Cambridge, and she uh, asked me about uh, some advice on carpet installation. So we advised her, and she went to a carpet shop. She got a beautiful wool carpet, and uh, that got installed through a house. She then said, a vacuum cleaner we recommend and of course we do love SIBO so I said to her to I sent her the model of the SIBO vacuum cleaner and she got this and then she was carrying on with this and about two weeks later she called me up and go my vacuum cleaner stopped working and I don't know why oh, no. so that's very strange for a yeah. SIBO to just stop working so I thought okay let me come and have a look so I went around and she told me about there's quite a bit of fluff on the carpet even afterwards and I said yeah so it's, it's probably shedding so I said let me have a look at the vacuum cleaner and uh, she said, well, I changed the vacuum cleaner back about two days ago. We vacuumed once around the house. And then when that's, I that's looked filling at That's filling up quite, quite a lot that, that's quickly. That's quite quickly, yes. Yeah. But she didn't immediately think it was necessarily the vacuum that's filled up. So I took the vacuum cleaner, and when I pulled the hose out, the hose was all the way full throughout. Oh, all wow. the thing, the whole bag, the whole so it was compact thing was compacted well as, oh, of, wow. of, of fibres from the carpet. Um, and <clears throat> this carpet, I would agree, did shed quite a lot. But as long as the look of the carpet don't change significantly, it's not a major, it's not a major issue. I, in fact, I've never seen that shedding initially, even if it takes a little longer, is actually such a big problem for the carpet and the look of the carpet itself. So for those watching this video and thinking, is it or is it not shedding, is usually the fibers that sit loosely around the edges that you need to vacuum up on a regular basis. And That's also, when you shedding. vacuum soon after your carpet has been installed for the first few weeks, you'll find, oh goodness, but my vacuum bag keeps filling up. There's probably not going to be much of this carpet left in a month. Well, people time. are going to start thinking their carpet's going to panic in you. My carpet's going to be bald. I've not exactly. had it very long. Yeah. Exactly. That's usually the, the, the worry that, um, you know, where's my, when is this yeah, going to stop? Worries. Is there going to yeah. be fibers left after all this has happened? So the aim of my video with you this morning is just to explain what caused that to happen or what's yeah. the likely cause because there are many different reasons why this can happen and I wouldn't say watching this video is going to be the absolute end of it and you are now going to totally, yeah, there definitely. might be other reasons why this is happening but this explains at least part of the reason why it's happening. This is what we found. That we've this is what we found and based on the experience in cleaning over yeah. the years. So, um, of course, Will Carp has been famous for doing this. We uh, much less, if ever, a synthetic carpet do this. Oh, wow. And uh, today I also want to show you why this might be the case. Definitely so what I did was I got a, a piece of string. A bit of rope. Right. He's not now, hurt where's, my where's, where's my scissor? You know, the, the magicians usually <laughs> yeah, have a scissor <laughs> and then uh, they go, can you cut Sorry. the end? And then you cut the I end and helped. then there's a circle. But clearly I should not be a magician. No, because it didn't work. You're no. not meant to tell them. No, I I'm know. Just do it. So, um, what we have here is I have a very long piece of string. Right. I've got a long piece of string and then I've got some short pieces here. So, Tracy, when uh, fibers are made for making carpet or anything but like yeah. that, um, synthetic fiber is made through a thing called a spinneret. Right, so they melt the plastic and they push it through a tiny little hole that squeezes it out and it comes out and it makes a little tiny fibre. Now, it does not make this thick fibre, that panic. It yeah. makes a very, very <laughs> fine hair of fibre and it continuous, what we call continuous yarn. 
So it comes out and it comes out and it comes out and it's one piece that keeps coming out, right? And they roll this onto a reel and then they take this and they blend it with others and they spin it and eventually make a string of it. And that becomes the little fiber on the carpet itself. Right, they twist it. Well, if you look closely at a bit of a, a carpet, you can see that it's yeah, twisted. Yeah, it is actually. twisted. Not everything is twisted, but no, yes, they twist the yarns bit, yeah. inside. And actually, if you look really closely, you will see that there's a twist in the yarn. Um, even if some of them are not twisted that much, some are twisted more than others. But these fine ones are twisted together, and then these twists are then twisted again with another one. Oh. So anyway, what they do is they create a plastic line and that is either nylon, polypropylene, or other sorts of fibers, right. right? Now, that's continuous filament, as we call it. Now, yes, they do cut it shorter into pieces. I'll get to that in a moment. But if you imagine that synthetic fibers are a continuous filament. Just one long. Right, now, if you imagine that's a cool. sheep running over the hills, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. This represents the only two hairs the, only two hairs the that the sheep. sheep's got. Oh. And this poor thing is bald. He's got two little ears. And we're taking all their, their insulation. They, exactly. So what we have to do, actually, for the benefit of the sheep, is we have to cut it off. Now, just like the hair on a head, they don't all grow at the same pace. No. Yes, you've got a little longer one and a little shorter one. and you know, So they're all a bit of a different size. But generally speaking, you would have probably that much on a sheep, right? If you share it at the right time. Yeah. Um, so what they do is they take these... These, these hairs, which is wool, and they oh, shear like it off the sheep. It. Now, <laughs> as you can imagine, these are not continuous, no. right? They are cut off, and this is what we call staple yarns. So they are shorter pieces, oh. right? Now, when they make carpets, so you've heard the uh, term 80 twins here, right? So they take some of these long continuous filaments, and they will cut it probably these days to the similar size to what we have, what the wool would be. What the wool would be. But wool naturally is also a bit brittle. So it can break off, right. and that means that these yarns, this is now my wool, and I will then mix in my synthetic, right? And then this synthetic is quite strong. It doesn't break really easily, but the wool actually is brittle. So it breaks off right. a little bit. So because it breaks off, and also because it's staple, it's shorter, it can come out because sometimes these wool fibers are shorter than the rest and they blend it in and you have a little bit of waste coming out that way. Oh. To demonstrate a bit more about the brittleness of wool, um, it's actually a very, very good thing to have a slightly brittle fiber when you have a carpet made. You watching might have gone to your local pub. And as you walk in the door, you see there's a beautiful red carpet. Yeah. But you notice this carpet is worn through nearly to the back. But those bits that's remaining after the carpet has been down for many years, many years yeah. um, and yes, in places it would be quite dirty, but if you walk in where the not so greasy areas are, because grease is quite a bit of a problem, yeah. but, um, but that's the, you know, the, the, the main walkway areas away from the greasy bits, you will see the carpet looks fairly clean. You will see the carpet looks quite bold and worn out in places. It's because these wool fibers have actually broken a little bit away and broken a little bit away and every time it breaks that little bit away it becomes shorter yes it does but it's exposed a near brand new piece of fiber oh so it goes so that's why a wool fiber is actually very good because the little ugly bit at the top breaks off and exposed to a new Just piece of me oh. right whereas if we have this continuous filament of car of fiber and we go ahead and we said, well, we're going to mix those in and we're going to take some, let's say we do a, um, in my example, and there are some cups like that, a 50-50 mix, right? So I've got 50 of wool and 50 of synthetic, right? <clears throat> this means that I have got my wool fiber that naturally breaks off. It's a little bit brittle. And then I've got my synthetic piece here, but this does not break as easily. It's not brittle. No. Because plastic is quite tough. Yeah. So what you'll have is that the wool will be brittle and look good still, but the synthetic fiber stays behind. But what happens with the synthetic fiber, it gets scratched and worn, and it stays behind and actually becomes ugly. Yeah, because it's not, yeah. It's, 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 it creates scratches on the plastic, and then it stays there and it doesn't go anywhere. So this looks ugly, whereas your wool, yes, it might be a little bit shorter, this still looks good. So, of course, my example of a 50-50 is not great. Normally, they'll have a 
80-20. So you have probably one of those and eight of the others. Yes. So you'll have so a mix. They have more of the synthetic. They right? have more of the synthetic. So um, usually that would be the case. And this mix because, you know, the various properties are quite good for for different things. And that's why a mix, a mix like that. But the, uh, coming back to the actual crux of the story, uh, we talk about shedding and is it a big problem and why it happens. So this gives people watching this video a little bit of understanding why shedding happens because you've got stable fibers and it can break off. It happens initially quite a bit on a, on a new installation on wall, or would I say on some installations, and people soon be too alarmed by it. I use an upright vacuum cleaner so that the beta bar turns and gently brush the carpet and picks this up, change the vacuum bag on a regular basis, and accept that it does fill up over time initially. If it is a big concern, speak to the retailer that installed the carpet for you. And but don't be, be to too that, alarmed by that. But do, be aware that this does happen and it's common, so it's not... You're not the only ones going through it, guys. Yes, that's true. I've been through it, to be fair. I didn't realise what it was, though, but so mm. I'm glad that's cleared that up. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank so if there's anything else you need to know, pop a comment below and we'll get back to you. Take care. Bye. Bye.